Hello, school leaders. It's Dr. E.M. Robinson with 100% Schools. And today, I want to talk to you about being a conscientious school leader. Being keenly aware of where your students and staff are and the school improvement progression is critical to you maximizing achievement for 100% of your students and staff members. As you seek to transform, build capacity, and distribute leadership, you will need to have your hand and eyes on the pulse of the school. So here are five tips to ensuring that you create a constantly improving school improvement environment through conscientiousness. First is visibility. Visibility allows you to canvas and engage your environment through simply being present and mobile throughout your school. You are a representation of the goals that you have established for your school. Thus, constantly moving throughout your school, having discussions with staff and students daily will improve your visibility and allow you to gather the information you need to adjust your plans for improvement. Second is fixed meeting times with staff. These meetings are not limited to you engaging your fellow administrators, assistant principals, instructional specialists, counselors, or teachers. This includes every stakeholder group of importance in your school. Instructional leadership teams, non-instructional leadership teams, support staff meetings, including general office secretaries, financial secretaries, building engineers, custodial and ground services, other support personnel such as coaches and sponsors all help you remain abreast of what is transpiring in your school. When you have a very large staff and the workload is massive, you cannot maintain awareness of how your school is progressing without collecting this information in regular fixed meetings with staff. This serves as a stethoscope of sorts for you as principal. The third tool for being a conscientious school leader is establishing routine data assessments and reporting. This is critical for individual students because they can formatively make adjustments as they progress. The same goes for individual teachers and administrators. Benchmarking where your students, teachers, and other staff are in relation to the goal is critical. You can only do this by reviewing your data on a regular basis. This is what will allow you to make adjustments. For example, many schools will implement a reading initiative and check student progress on a platform on a quarterly basis. These checks could easily be reduced to twice per quarter and one critical assessment, observation of instructional quality. This is where you gain the most ground. Fourth is conducting regular external and internal stakeholder meetings. Meetings with parents, students, and external partners are critical to move the needle for 100% of your students. As a school leader, you want to be made aware of the reputation your school has while also learning about the new opportunities for growth. This is why regular stakeholder meetings are a necessity. Meet regularly with parents, students, and partners because they will give you authentic feedback on how they view your school, its operations, and most importantly, the school culture. This information will inform your school improvement planning. Engaging school partners allows you to learn and capitalize on any of the advantages that can be afforded to students and staff. For example, paid internships, field trips, teacher externships, guest speakers of great influence in industry, general school benchmarking visits, donations, and other resources are brought to your attention 
in regular stakeholder meetings. The fifth and final tip for maintaining your awareness as a school leader is performing regular strategic planning reviews. It is an absolute necessity to keep the momentum of improvement going through contrasting where your school currently is versus where your school is destined to go. To do this, you must regularly review your school improvement plan juxtaposed with your school's current data. Review this at fixed intervals with each stakeholder to create an accurate assessment of your school's progress. This allows you to celebrate successes and galvanizes your staff, students, parents, and school partners to continue to commit time, energy, and resources toward advancing your goals. It also helps your team strategize forward because you are aware of what is working and the deficiencies that remain. Thus, you know where to concentrate future planning. In short, your conscientiousness as a school leader can be enhanced when you place visibility, fix meetings with staff, routine data assessments and reporting, conducting regular external and internal stakeholder meetings, and performing regular strategic planning reviews at the forefront of your actions. I'm sure that these tips will help you move the needle for 100% of your students and staff members in your school. Good day to you.